What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Hunter Collins and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review of an Anderson 556223. I've had this for several years now. It's my first ever purchase. So I'm going to be telling you guys what I think about it. Let's jump into the video. Alright guys, so this right here, this is the gun. It's an Anderson 556. I've done not much modification but a little bit. Up front we have a Bear Creek Arsenal. It's just, you know, a normal handrail. We just replaced it. The barrel's still all that's still Anderson. Put a new uh, flash hider on it, just for looks basically. There's really no purpose behind that. The reason in switching out the handguard was it had a little like heat shield and then you know just a little spot with a rail on it and I didn't like that at all. One, I thought it looked stupid. Two, it just like didn't, it got in the way I guess. I couldn't put attachments on it as easy. This M-lock rail makes it so much better. So shout out to Bear Creek Arsenal for that. But the gun itself, like I said, that was the only thing I felt like I needed to switch. This for me is a fun gun. So I just don't look at it to get accuracy out of it. I don't look at it to make sure everything's the best possible. But that's what I would definitely recommend. I would say I had to change that. Like it just completely annoying to me. The stock isn't all that nice. I mean, it works fine. It pulls out. It locks. You can hear it's got a little jiggle to it. It doesn't lock in like some of the other stocks do, the nicer ones. And I mean, it's just a... It's just a hard plastic. This is kind of gritty on the end. So it's not the most comfortable, but once again, this is a fun gun. It's not something I want to put a ton of money into. It's just something I pull up and shoot. I'm not looking to get accuracy out to a certain yardage or anything like that. But when we actually talk about the gun itself shooting, I've had this gun for, I guess, about three years now. It's my first ever firearm purchase. And I put a lot of rounds to this. I'm repeating once again, since it is my fun gun, almost every single round I've put through this, extremely cheap steel casing there's the cheapest ammo i can get and i don't like i can recall this thing jamming maybe two times so as far as that goes it is not jammed hardly at all on me and besides that i mean everything else is just very basic very generic charging handle i mean it's it's what you're going to get with your starter ar or base model so i'm just going to take it shoot a couple times right now i have just a cheap red dot on top and then some cheap sights I had sent to me, uh, just side iron sights, just, just for fun. Once again, I just like to shoot this just to do it. So let's load it up, shoot it a couple times so you guys can see how it works. Maybe it'll malfunction on us, I don't know. I doubt it will, but let's go ahead and shoot it and then I'll tell you exactly what I think and whether or not you should buy this for yourself. So. Alright guys, that's all I'm going to shoot right now. I'm going to let Elliot and then his brother shoot us oh, gosh. at the end of the video. But uh, just my final thoughts on this. I would recommend it um, just in a general statement. I don't think it's a bad gun at all. But I wouldn't tell you to buy this one if you were going to and this was your only option. But I know personally I really like Palmetto States. Basically because their price point. To me it's just as good as this. And you can get one with this handguard already put on it. And you don't have to worry at all. And you can also get it at a cheaper price with more attachments on it to begin with. So I just think there you can find cheaper options. I believe the time I bought this, it ran me right at 500 I think I got it on sale for 4 dollars at Cabela's. But, I mean, I would recommend it uh, if it's something you're looking at. But honestly, I think you can find cheaper options. It'll work great. But to me, the cheapest is almost always the best in the most scenarios. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's going to be it. Once again, the Anderson 556-223 AR-15. It's been Hunter Collins. We'll catch you in the next one. And as always, take someone outdoors.